like this truck though. I don't care what you say, I like this truck. The red and black, I love it. Ever since I ever since I got into the truck game, I've always wanted a red and black truck. I've all, always wanted this color red too. It's just, it just, I'm jealous. <laughs> so we got some, uh, uh, my, my goal today is to film some content with the old bow tie over here. Let's let's take a little take a little trip down memory lane and see what we got back here. We got some uh, we got some weed fertilizer. We got some water that's been here for a while. I got a TV back here that we're gonna have some fun with. I got a Snap-on jack. I got a O'Reilly's bucket. I got a Yeti cooler. I got all kinds of fun stuff back here. We have a good you could have a good afternoon with what's in the back of this truck. I'm just saying. But uh, as you guys know, I have a pretty nice little oil leak on the white truck and I'm leaving oil spots in just about every there's one a big one at the that first parking spot um, there ain't really any over here actually nope that's from my truck over there those over there this yeah look you see I park here a lot see how dark that spot is right there so my guy Sean has brought me some uh, some 10w30 and maybe this won't leak out as much because he has the same problem I think every truck that year has the same yeah. problem and I'm hoping that the 10w30 doesn't leak out as much will it be it's quick to start up in the morning with such a thick oil. <laughs> may, may, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> but as of right now, the only issue with this truck, other than the suspension getting a little, a little rough, is uh, the nasty little oil leak that I need to get figured out. So hopefully this will help help out a little bit. But I'll update you guys in a week or so and let you know how the oil leak situation is going. Look, hey, show me that shirt that you, you got on it. right now. You gotta see it. Show me that it's shirt bad. that you got on right now, though. The Bread Gang shirts are live on the website. Y'all stop playing. Go support your boy. Cop some merch. The Bread Gang shirt, that's fire, too. I really, yeah. Bro, hey, Mr. Denali King's out here just running it up. Running it up on the shirts. I love that. Southern Ties Collection. Uh, the uh, website's in the bio. Y'all go show some love. I'm really starting to get creative with my, uh, oh, with what I'm using as tripods around here. I'm using the candy stand as a tripod. You are a tripod. Trying to get my lighting right, though. I got some wheels that I want to show y'all today. It's been a while since we've, uh, showed y'all some wheels, so I'm kind of excited. Starting off today with a set of 26 inch JTX dually wheels. The customer's coming to pick these up in a couple of days. I want y'all to know I'm one wrong sit away from blowing these pants out. I got a nice little little hole going on over here. I'm, I'm one step into a big truck away from just, just blowing it out. But I'm, I'm living dangerously right now is what's happening. I don't even care. 26 inch JTX Dually 404 in polish. We don't do a lot of JTX polish wheels. I almost don't even want to open this up because customers coming to pick them up and I, I don't want to open it, but I do at the same time. You can kind of see the, oh, here we go, yeah. Look at that right there. Dang, that's gonna look so good. Going on Chevy 3500. That big, huge JTX cap. Meet your boy. Ooh, hello. Freaking beautiful. 26 Dually 10 lug JTX 404. I love it, I really do. I'm a big fan of the, the like spiral cut there. I like that, it looks really good. Big cap, big uh, obviously, big metal cap. Freaking looks good. JTX number two for the day. Got the uh, 2612 Credos. Excited to see this one, never seen this one before. Ooh. Going on a uh, F250, love it, 2612. Credo, love the uh, spiral design. You guys can, can see the difference between the eight lug and the 10 lug cap. They got the smaller eight lug on this one. And your big old. 10 lug cap on this one. Oh, I love that 10 lug cap. Dually wheels are just freaking nice. I love it, I love it. Big polish, love the polish on the JTX wheels. Love the very thick cut design on the wheels. They have a very thick spoke compared to some of the other wheel designs. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the JTX right now. They got a lot of good looking wheels. It does, but it, it really doesn't look like it, it squats that much. Y'all, make sure to go show some love to my guy. Came by the shop, showing some love. It's it's almost like just it's the hangout spot now, but we're we're talking about how much squat. Let me know in the comments what you guys think the squat is at on this, because it doesn't. Well, one, can you tell that this is one of the spots that I park in a lot because it's got a nice little 
cool old spot from it. No, 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 no. My my old white truck, wherever I got it parked at. Um, where did I park? Oh, I parked over there today. So, but you you can see little little oil spots behind most of the cars from where I parked because my truck leaks so much oil. But we got it's six inches of squat on this bad boy right now, and I'm I'm really I'm really liking it to be honest. But I wanted to make sure to show some love to my guy because he came through with the with the 2616s. Are, aren't you gonna are you gonna go bigger on this? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna either do 28s or 30s on 42s. I love it. I love the. It's it's weird because my truck starts to feel so normal to me, but then I see something like this and I'm like, damn, my truck is like so small compared to something like this. Yeah, because I'm six foot and the mirrors are in my head. Jeez. With the fuel hoards though, y'all just show some love to my guy coming through. And then we got we got a uh, trips truck. I don't I don't know if you've seen this one on the on Instagram ever. He used he used to have uh, 40s on it. He, I swear he switches this thing up every couple of days. Yeah, that's sweet peach. Yeah. <laughs> Trip with the with the red and blue lift kit. The goys with the caps. I love the colors though. I really do. 2614 forces. I almost bought a set of forces that he used to have on one of his trucks. Or I think he used to have them on this truck. I love this freaking lift kit. Oh, I mean, McGoy's obviously is my, is my favorite anyway, but I feel like this is uh, the the new that wide bow tie is what this is. It's what it looks like anyway. Shout out Trip. Make sure you guys go follow my guy on Instagram. Yeah, he's got it over here. Instagram. Man out here rocking forces in the, the red and blue McGoy's kit. Beautiful, beautiful look. And he's got the spikes with the shallow cap. The shallow cap. Get on. You need to get on the shallow cap, gang. Stop playing around. <laughs> Big ass caps. The Forgiatos came with a huge cap too. I wasn't a fan, so. Get, some floaters. get you some bread gang caps, man. Stop playing. Get you some bread gang caps, trip. Hook you up. I love the truck though. Y'all gotta show some love to my guy in the comments. Missing great content because you don't know how to. Shout out to Throttle. What are you? What are you filming right now? What is? This? There you go. Shout out to Throttle Box for sending me one of their monthly description boxes. We're gonna, we're gonna open it up, see what's inside. I've seen all kinds of different subscription service boxes on the uh, the interweb, the the U, the YouTube web, the YouTube, all over the place. It is just a terrible knife. They didn't send me the knife though. I've never done one of these. I see the mystery tackle boxes for fishing a lot, and I used to get those, but I've never gotten one for trucks. So I'm kind of excited. So again, shout out to Throttle Box for sponsoring today's video. Ooh. So we had some guesses Ooh. about what was gonna be in here, right? We had some guesses, like t-shirt, maybe some stickers, you know, a couple of things. Um, Microfiber, super cool. Everybody needs a microfiber, even though I don't wash my truck. Yeah, you know, but yeah. I wash my truck. Don't wash my truck, so you know. Um, send me a nice little, little air freshener. That was on the list of things that I definitely thought would be in there. Um, discount. So, shout out to uh, Gorilla Car Care because I really, I really like Gorilla Car Care and all their products. And I was kind of hoping in the back of my mind that I would get some Gorilla Car Care stuff, and I did. So, shout out to Gorilla Car Care. They have the uh, the best soap that I never use because I don't wash my own truck, but I absolutely love their products. Um, so we got some some detail and stuff that we'll open in a second, and then we got a uh, let's see we got a couple of I like I like their logo. You know a lot of their social media stuff is a guy running around in a big gorilla suit. It's kind of like it's kind of cool. I don't know why. A couple of gorilla car care stickers, and then some uh, smoke tires, not drugs, and boost we trust. I like that. And then a couple of little spray nozzles, spray nozzles, and a uh, 10 millimeter socket. That's the hardest thing. Have a brand. Say, yeah. Do what? Snap on. Um, quality? Car guy tools. Ah, I like it. I like, it. Good stuff. I like it. I like it. Let's bust, bust open the. Uh, and they got a discount code for uh, Gorilla Car Care. Definitely throwing that in the uh, in the old bow tie. I need it in my white bow tie because the white bow tie is nasty right now. You know, it, it would be really nice if I knew a good detailer to be able to take care of my stuff. You know, if only I knew. Shout, shout out, you know, Odom's yeah. detailing wherever he's at right now. Uh, we got some detail spray for you, you to use. Nice. Thanks, man. Got some uh, gorilla piss. Um, what bug remover. Best what is name? it? The bug remover. Bug remover? Yeah. Oh, it says it on top. Bug remover. A lot of bugs on my Contact truck. Please. 
Yeah, what? Context. Context. <laughs> yeah, a lot of bugs on my truck. And then, uh, oh, they wrapped this one up. Foaming sh shampoo. Do you think if I use this on my own hair that it's bad? Do what? Yeah. I, you think so? Yeah. Uh, I might. Have, might have to try. I that, do it. That might be a good video idea. Huge shout out to uh, Throttle Box for sponsoring today's video. And the microphone. Yeah, we could wash you. Wee wee wee. <laughs> could just do a full wash day on Alex instead of his truck. Wash day on Alex yeah. on me. Hit you with the foam cannon, scrub oh, me down oh, a little oh. bit. That's not a bad idea. Like, actually. Yeah, well, I'll bring an extra saying. pair of clothes tomorrow just for you, okay? <laughs> Good thing I won't be here. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Sai here is a fan of the channel, and he actually brought me something this morning. A couple weeks back, I hit 50,000 followers on Instagram, which is crazy, and uh, I made a video pouring champagne on my head, and I've actually made a couple different videos pouring champagne on my head with that all black hat, and I ruined them, so I haven't been wearing that hat anymore. So he actually brought me two more all black Bass Pro Shop hats, so I can uh, get rid of the, uh, the white and black. Look at this hair right now though. This hair has got to be golden. We're in golden hour right now for the hair. We're rocking the uh, the all black again. Ah, oh, it feels good to be good to be back. Look, the first refreshed 2022 GMC AT4 on a nine inch McGoy's kit. As far as I know, it's the first one in existence done here at Southern Tire first. Come with me, come with me, come here. Shh, shh, quiet, quiet. Nine inch McGoy's, look, 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 look at this. Look at this beautiful, look, look, how beautiful. Sun's in my eyes, nine inch McGoy's kit with the accent pieces. We're gonna do some control arms soon. Probably throw some traction bars on this thing. Nine inch McGoy's lift on the 2022 refreshed GMC AT4 with that really nice titanium color. I don't remember what the name of the color is, but I, I know that General Motors Jeff's gonna comment somewhere below or DM me on Instagram and be like, wow, it's this color and I'm gonna feel like an idiot. But finish that nine inch McGoy's kit up. 22 by 12 KG1 Vortex. One of my favorite wheels that KG1 has made. I really love the designs of the spokes. I just did something about the, the way that the spokes are shaped just speaks to my soul. I really like it, I'm not gonna lie. And then we finish it off with some 30 by 12 50 22 Mickey Thompson Baja Boss AT Boss ATs. Love it, love the wheel, love the tire. Very minimal trimming, nine inch lift on 35, 12 wides. This is beautiful, very minimal trimming on the front, small trimming on the back. First McGoy's kit on a 2022 refresh. GMs, just look at that color. Look at that freaking color, baby. It's all, it's like a, it's like rush metallic or something. I don't remember what it's called. It's got this like dark blue, gray, purplish sparkle to it. I love it. The, uh, they call it like, I forgot, it's like a black diamond accent or something like that. So the, the pieces on the front, they're not chrome and they're not black. They're kind of like this like almost titanium color. I don't know. It's not chrome though, but it looks, it looks good. I like it. They got the color matched headlights on the inside. Well, it's not color matched, but it's like that dark, that, that, that black diamond or whatever it's called. I keep forgetting the name. Love the new headlights on these trucks. Absolutely love it. With the Duramax too. First one in the country, nine inch McGoy's refreshed 2022 GMC. Let's get his breath. I really do like the way that this truck turned out though. I'm really, I say it, I say it in all the videos. I go, I go back and forth in all the videos. I'm a bigger fan of this body style than I am of the 20, 
the 19 to 21 GMCs. I'm just throwing it out there. I am. I'm a bigger fan of this body style than I was the other one. But same front end as the other ones. Some of these GMCs come with a single composite leaf spring in the rear. We have done one of those before. This one obviously does not come that way, but same exact fitment as the 21s. So you do a nine inch lift, some 12 wides, some 35s. No trimming, no cutting, or no very minor trimming, minor cutting. Get you out the door. I love it. I appreciate the opportunity, Mr. Sai. Family member till the end. I appreciate it. For so long, every time, if you guys watched the video of me going back to Florida a couple weeks ago or saw that in the video, for so long, I've been trying to find the best place to get Bass Pro Shop hats. There's a Bass Pro Shop that's an hour and a half north of me. There's a Bass Pro Shop that's an hour and a half south of me. And there's a Cabela's around the corner from my house. But Cabela's normally only ever has like one color in stock. And I can't wear the same burgundy Bass Pro Shop hat until the end of time. And until I can figure out my own style hat that I really like to wear, this is what we're rocking with. I've known for the Bass Pro Shop hats. Now, shout out to Cy earlier in the video for giving me two new Bass Pro Shop hats, right? I had those, right? I was wearing, I got this one like two weeks ago, three weeks ago in Florida. I've got a pink one that I just gave to Dylan out of uh, Arkansas or Ohio, whichever I think was Arkansas. Got a green one that was given to me uh, by a customer the other day. Um, I've got like four or five of them at my house, a couple of blue ones. I've got this orange one that I have. And then I got these two when I went to Florida, a new like light blue and a new dark blue when I went to Florida a couple weeks ago. Long story short, I've got a lot of Bass Pro Shop hats, like a lot of them. And I keep like, I'm getting stacked up with them now, but it's getting to a point to where at one point, like I couldn't find them. I couldn't figure out where to go get them from and it was stressing me out. So what I did, What I did, because I love you guys so much, I went and started an Amazon affiliate link, and you can go on Amazon if you use my link in the description. You guys can go buy some of these hats and also help support your boy in the process. This is where I'm gonna buy all my hats from now on. I got a black one and a blue one on there right now, but I'm gonna be adding other colors at some point. So if you guys wanna support the channel, Southern Ties Collection is in the description. I've got the new Bread Gang shirts, if you wanna see that. The new Bread Gang shirts are finally here, and I can get those out to you in a couple of days. They've got the really nice Bread Gang logo on the front on the the pocket tee and then the big nice bread gang on the back and these are comfort color shirts i use nothing but comfort color shirts so if you guys want to check those out uh at southern ties collection on uh on uh, instagram and the website is in the is in the uh the description of the uh uh, the video today too so your southern tide stuff and then your, your bread gang stuff and your bass pro shop hats so y'all go support your boy but it's just a way for uh for y'all to be able to, to show some love to the channel and also find the products that i like to wear myself in the video <music>